In this scenario, I'm going to talk about the outbound interface selection problem and after that how we can solve it with the FVRF. It is so important to understand this problem correctly after that we can talk about the solution of the outbound interface selection problem. Look at here, here we have a simple scenario. In this simple scenario, we have two DMVPN network, two dynamic multipoint virtual private network. As you can see, in the first DMVPN, we have router one as the NHS and router two and router three as the NHCs. And also in the second DMVPN, we have router four as the NHS and router three and router five as the NHCs. First, we should talk about the problem that maybe we encounter with this problem. After that, we can talk about the solution. Here, I'm going to configure this scenario from the scratch because I want to show you what is happening. After that, we can talk about the, uh, for example, problem and solution. It is so easy and I'm going to use one notepad file for easier and faster configuration. This is our scenario. And here we can start from the configuration of the router one here we have one notepad file we will use this notepad file but we should change some features here in the in this notepad file in the router one as you can see okay this is router one enable conf t configure terminal interface fast ethernet 00 then ip address is 10161 okay 255255550 because this link between is between the router one and router six uh, the ip address of this interface is 10161 255255550 then no shot and also here we have one interface loopback let me to use interface loopback zero with the ip address of quad one quad two five five so easy okay then here we should configure one interface tunnel you can configure this scenario with dmvpn phase one phase two or phase three let me to use the phase uh, uh, for example two because here we don't have any difference or if you want you can configure with phase three okay let me to configure with the phase three look at here interface tunnel zero tunnel source is the fast ethernet zero zero it's okay tunnel mode is gre multipoints okay and then ip address 192.168.123.1 look at here the ip address of this tunnel is 192.168.11 okay actually here we are using the 192.168.10 slash 24 it is so uh, easy also, we should configure the IP and HRP network ID. For example, here we can configure network ID of 1, 2, 3, means router 1, router 3, and router, uh, router 2, and router 3. Then IP and HRP map multicast dynamics. So easy. Then, and here we should configure one routing protocol. For example, you can use EIGRP, router EIGRP NRC, address family IPv4 Unicast autonomous system 1, then network 172.16.11. Look at here, we should configure here network quad one quad zero then 192 168 okay one one quad zero so easy then here you know that because we want to use the um, phase two or phase three okay we should configure no split horizon and also no next top self let me to configure no next top self you have learned about all of these commands after that here uh, for the underlay okay we need to configure one static root or the uh, default root. let me to use default root ip root quad zero quad zero okay and then uh, 10166 because we want to have connectivity uh, to the router two and to the router three that's it and here this is the configuration of the router one let me to configure the router two in the router to enable conf t interface fast ethernet 00, zero the ip address of this interface is 10262 why because here we have a, a link between the router 2 and router 6 10262255255250 so easy after that let me uh, to configure the loopback 0 the loopback 0's ip address is quad 2 quad 255 okay and then we have uh, for example interface tunnel zero here we should configure gre tunnel or multi-point gre tunnel tunnel source is fast ethernet zero zero and tunnel mode is the gre multi-point so easy then ip address of this interface is 192.168.12.255.255.255.0 
IP NHRP network ID is 123 and also IP NHRP NHS 192, 168, 123, 1. The IP address of NHS is 192, 168, okay, 1, 1. Here, you know that we should configure IP NHRP, uh, for example, map, then 192, 168, 1, 1, map to the 10, uh, 161. And also we want to enable multicast IP NHRP, uh, for example, multicast okay ip nhrp map multicast then we should map to the 10161 okay you know that we should configure these three commands if you want you can configure only one command this is easier ip nhrp okay here nhs then 192 16811 nbma is 10161 and please enable multicast for uh, this okay it is easier because of that let me to use only one command okay instead of these three command we can use ip nhrp nhs 192 16811 nbme address is 10161 and also we have multicast for this destination that's it also, Rotor EI GRP NRC at this family IPv4 Unicast Autonomous System 1, Network Quad 2, Quad 0, and then Network 192.168.1.2, Quad 0. Here, let me to configure only one default route, IP route, okay, Quad 0, then Quad 0, and after that, next stop is 10.262. Also, because we want to use the phase 3, we should use on the hub router this command, IP nhrp okay ip nhrp redirect this is phase three and after that on the rotor two we should configure ip nhrp shortcut okay ip nhrp shortcut so easy then let me to configure the rotor three in the rotor three if you know that this is member of two vp two dmvpm but let me to uh, configure only the dmvpm one now this is the configuration of r3 enable conf d interface facet and a zero zeros ip address is a 10363 okay 10363 255 255 2550 and here we have one look back zero ip address of look back zero is quad three quad two five five and then let me to configure interface tunnel zero this is tunnel zero uh, tunnel source is fast ethernet zero zero okay this is the fast ethernet zero zero and then tunnel mode is gre multi point then ip address is 192.168.13.255.255.255.0 ip nhrp network id is 123 then ip nhrp nhs uh, here the IP address of NHS is 192.168.11 also the NBMA address for this NHS is uh, 10.161 also let me to enable multicast that's it then here also we should configure IP NHRP shortcut so easy okay shortcut then a rotor EIGRP NRC address family IPv4 unicast autonomous system 1 network the first network statement is quad 3 uh, quad 0 and after that let me to configure network uh, for example 192 168 13 quad 0 also let me to configure one default root IP root quad 0 quad 0 then next stop is 10366 this is the configuration of R1 R2 and R3 first let me to copy this configuration first r3 this is the r3 configuration here as you can see we don't have any error message all right then the rotor 2 this is the configuration of rotor 2 copy this configuration let me to paste it here all right and then here we have a problem ip root about the static root we have one mistake we should configure next up 10266 okay let me to copy it here in the rotor 2 okay this is the rotor 2 and then the rotor 1 configuration this is the r1 configuration also uh, here we should configure the uh, rotor 6 this is the r1 configuration let me to uh, show you the configuration of rotor 6 it is important for us for the dm for this dmvpn okay r6 here we have r6 let me to uh, change the configuration of r6 here we have three interface enable conf d then host name host name is not important because it has host name interface fast ethernet 00, zero. ip address is the 10166255255250 and then no shutdown also let me to copy the configuration of fast ethernet 00, zero two times this is the uh, configuration of fast ethernet 01 
okay about the fast ethernet 01 this interface the ip address is 10266 and also we have interface fast ethernet 10 the ip address is 10366255255250 let me to copy uh, the configuration of the router 6 okay now we expect to see okay the first dmvpn is working correctly let me to show you uh, in the r1 okay in the r1 as you can see 